I have always had an innate fascination with dreams and the unconscious mind. The thought of attempting to piece together the puzzle of the human brain is a daunting feat that one scientist attempted to tackle. His name, Sigmund Freud. Freud was an Austrian neurologist who was born on May 6, 1856 and died on September 23, 1939. His accomplishments in the field of psychology are still world renowned, even though he passed on almost 100 years ago today. Sigmund Freud was the founder of the psychoanalysis system. The psychoanalysis system is a method that diagnosed and treated mental illnesses, as well as a theory for human behavior. Freud believed that traumatic events from the past led to the manifestation of physical reactions, like convulsions or loss of speech. He studied cases like Anna O to further his career. After Freud friends Buhrer discovered that Anna O case, discussed the Anna O case with Freud, he wrote a book about how many physical trauma symptoms are related to past mental trauma. In his book, he stated many theories on psychology and the human mind. Sigmund Freud also proposed that there are three levels to the mind. These levels are called the conscious, subconscious, and unconscious. The conscious levels of minds are the things that a person is aware of and control mental activity. The subconscious mind contains the thoughts that you could know or become aware of when trying to access them. The unconscious mind is a state of mind that containing a person, containing a thing that a person is unaware of or cannot obtain. Many traumatic events are buried in the unconscious mind, such as violent urges or selfish desires that most people are not aware of and don't plan to act on. If a person chooses to repress a memory or desire for long enough, then the memory can be become a part of the unconscious mind. Sigmund Freud believed that a lot of hidden trauma was stored in this part of the mind and that a person had to obtain it in order to heal from past traumatic events. The Freudian theory states that the unconscious mind governs more of a person's day-to-day -day personality than the average person might think. In 1923, Freud developed a conceptual idea of the mind by breaking it up into three different models. These models were the id, the ego, and the superego. These three areas prompted more theories in psychology. The id, according to Freud, was a part of the unconscious mind that dealt with pleasure. The id was broken up into two different parts, the eros and the thanatos. The eros was a part of the id that controlled the biological instincts and helped the individual to survive, while the thanatos was the exact opposite, a person's instinct for death or an individual's destructive instincts. Freud believed that eros was a was bigger than Thanatos, which would explain a person's will to survive. Freud believes that the ego develops from the id during its infancy. The ego's goal is to satisfy the needs of the id as it operates in both the conscious and unconscious mind. The superego is a person's sense of morality and the need to fit in and conform to society. The superego can make a person feel guilty for their actions. The id, ego, and superego are all in balance with each other to keep each other from doing anything detrimental to the mind. All three of them are a vital part of understanding human psychology. The mind also has a certain defense mechanisms when coping with issues. They are repression, denial, projection, displacement, regression, and sublimation. Repression is a process the mind goes through to prevent disturbing thoughts from seeping into the conscious mind. Denial is a blocking out of a physical situation if it's too much for the mind to handle. Projection is when a person switches the blame for an unacceptable feeling towards someone so they can convince my themselves that that person is at fault. Regression is when a person goes back in time because of a traumatic physical situation that they are, that they are in and don't want to deal with. Sigmund Freud was an amazing neurologist that made many discoveries in the mental health field. His profound ideas and amazing mind will continue to stir and inspire many new breakthroughs in the field of psychology throughout the years to come.